I think a, a really classical example that I see is inflammatory bowel disease. So we're talking about Crohn's disease, we're talking about ulcerative colitis. Uh, three weeks of cannabidiol has, uh, I've seen uh, in patients, absolutely normalize their gut function to the point where at six weeks they have a normal endoscopy. So you're talking about a severely inflamed situation in the gut, um, dealing with a tumor necrosis factor, this kind of cytokine, um, a number of the other um, cytokines that are circulating in the body, and CBD has the effect of calming that all down and restoring the tight junctions that are involved in the intestines and restoring balance uh, to the gut, as well as reducing the motility, the typical hypermotility that's giving people the frequent diarrhea. So you have this wonderful balanced effect um, that's going on uh, with the inflammatory bowel disease, highly effective. So will they have to continue taking it beyond the three to six weeks? Typically, patients who are having inflammatory bowel disease have an autoimmune disorder has been initiated. And so something has triggered that. In, in my perspective, I see that as a combination of factors. It's not one thing, but these people are already prone to it. So yes, I would say they need to continue it, but not at the same dosage level. They may be able to drop down, and I, I typically will tell people, you only need about a quarter of what you were taking for the acute problems in order to maintain and sustain the benefits that you're receiving and the anti-inflammatory effect and prevent the recurrence of the autoimmune. Bruce. What would uh, be an initial dose or the recommendation, twice a day or how much you're... So for inflammatory bowel disease, uh, we're I see that as a crisis point. One of my clients is a 14-year-old girl in hospital, and they're contemplating removing her colon because she has Crohn's disease that's in an inflammatory state and has not been responding to steroids or any of the other medications. So to me, at that crisis point, I want to use maximum therapy, and I want to get that under control. A lot of people are just introduced at that point in time. So I'm going to recommend 90 milligrams of CBD uh, coming typically from the tincture because I know that that's highly effective. Now after they've been on that for a while and they have got some decrease in the inflammation and they've had some improvement and we can drop that down, they can drop it down to 60 milligrams a day. That would be the 300? The well, um, all I, th I always put things in terms of the number of milligrams of CBD and you can just calculate it from uh, the concentration of the bottle uh, that's there. In, for um, a systemic disease like uh, Crohn's disease, probably talking about twice a day, but maybe three times a day. See, the other thing that goes on with cannabidiol is it's unique. Every individual is different in terms of its effect and how you're going to respond or where you are deficient in your own personal cannabinoids, I don't know and you have to find it. You have to find that by a little bit of dosing. I mean, I can give you a guide, some guidelines, Bruce, uh, that this is what works in most people, but I don't know what happens in any individual. 